Well, in the weather, we hear of watches and we hear of warnings. And when those warnings turn into devastated buildings and lives lost, it leaves an imprint on the community forever. The town of Louisville is remembering the EF4 tornado that hit their community back on April 28th of 2014. Our Grace Brister is joining us in the studio tonight with more on that. Grace. Andrea, the city of Louisville is hosting a weekend of remembrance that kicked off this morning. Area residents and first responders met downtown today to honor those who were on the front lines on a day the city will never forget. When disaster strikes, we look for refuge. But what about the first responders in the community who are also dealing with tragedy? They see it, feel it, and then return to helping those who are suffering. Those on the front lines in Louisville saw their homes in their town in ruins and had to grieve 10 lives lost. 10 years later, community members gathered in the center of downtown to honor those on the front lines. Chief Robert Hutto with the Louisville Fire Department says this has been a somber week reflecting on that tragic day. I was actually off duty that day and uh, I was standing on my front porch and, and watched the storm come over the south side of town. Um, immediately everything changes, everything stops. It's like, okay, now, now what's next? Chris Young was a firefighter on shift April 28, 2014. He says a lot was going through his mind. He was concerned about his family's safety at home and the safety of the community. Young says it's hard to see the way the tornado left many citizens with a lingering fear. The city has a safe room now and it's it's kind of disheartening to see, but some people still have extreme anxiety over that. Every time we open the safe room, we have some that are, that are there as soon as the doors open because they are still terrified that they're going to get hit again. Young says the tragedy taught firefighters and other responders a lot of lessons about redundancy, response, communication, coordination, shelter, and more. And there will be more to come. There's been a lot of changes, and there will be more changes. Every time we have an incident, whether it be an ice storm, our severe weather um, as tornadoes, we learn from it and we try to grow and make sure we don't repeat the same mistakes again. Hutto says the memory has changed his and other first responders perspective on a lot of things. You got to mourn, but in that moment, uh, we still had to do our job and we still had to respond and do the best we could. As the responders who were on the front lines a decade ago look back at what the city has accomplished and lay a wreath in honor of moving forward, it's a reminder that in a disaster, jurisdictional boundaries go out the window, everyone works together and gives it their all. Going forward, we want to keep that togetherness as several all these agencies coming together because you never know what we're going to have to handle next. On Sunday, the city will ring church bells and blow air horns throughout the city 10 times to honor those who lost their lives 10 years ago.